Hi, welcome to Just Two Storytime with the Virginia Beach Public Library streaming programming. My name is Miss Katie and I'm so happy you're here with us today. So all of our story times are based on singing, talking, reading, writing, and playing. These are the practices you can do at home with your child to help them get ready to learn to read. Today we're going to do a little bit of each of these practices and we're going to focus on singing. Singing helps your child hear the smaller sounds and words, which builds phonological awareness because we're going to slow down and we're going to sound things out. And we're going to start with a bend and a stretch, and it goes like this. Bend and stretch. Reach for the stars. There goes Jupiter. There goes Mars. Bend and stretch. Reach for the stars. There goes Jupiter, there goes Mars. Very good. So we learned through repetition, so we're gonna do that again. So ready, let's bend. Bend and stretch, reach for the stars. There goes Jupiter, there goes Mars. Bend and stretch, reach for the stars. There goes Jupiter, there goes Mars. Yay, good job. All right, we're all stretched out now, and we are ready for a song. In this song, we're gonna drive in our car. Let's get our steering wheels out. We're gonna honk our horns. Beep, beep, beep. We're gonna get our windshield wiper swishing. Swish, 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 swish. All right, I think we're all ready. Here we go. Drop it in my car. Drop it in my car. Driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Red light stop. What sound does a car horn make? Beep, 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 beep. Right, let's sing the song with our car horns. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Driving in my car. Driving in my car. Driving in my car. Driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. Red light stop. Stop. What sound do car windshield wipers make? Get your windshield wipers. That's right, let's sing the song with our windshield wipers. Here we go. Swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 Let's sing the song with our car mufflers. Swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 swish. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Driving in my car. Driving in my car. Driving all the way to Minneapolis in my car. All right, we're going to stop right there, and we're going to move on to our ABC song. And this will help us figure out our letter of the day. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W-X-Y-N-Z Now I know my ABCs Next time won't you sing with me? Very good. And you'll notice I said L-M-N-O-P instead of L-M-N-O-P because it helps the children hear each individual letter. And now I have a special friend with me who's going to help us figure out our letter of the day. Hi, Snake. How are you today? Does anyone know what letter our letter of the day might be if we have a snake with us? He's holding it in his mouth. Let's see. Oh, what letter is that? It is the letter S, and it makes this sound. Can we trace our letter? Let's all get out a finger. I'm going to put my snake friend down. Let's get out our tracing finger, and an S is fun to trace because it's swirly. We're going to go down and around. 
Good, let's do that again. Down and around. Let's make our sound again together, ready? Just like a snake says. And what color is our letter S today? Does anyone know what color that is? That is a green S. Very good. All right. So we have practiced writing our S. We're going to put our snake friend away. And now we are going to sing a fun song called One From The Left. And for this one, we're going to dance our fingers. Can you guys get your fingers ready? And we're going to put them behind our back. And the song is going to tell us which activities to do next. And this is good for those fine How motor about a skills. Song for your fingers today. Here we go. One from the left. And one, one from, from the right. right. Met in the middle and danced all night. They made up the dance called Whoopty Doo. Woo! Whoopty Doo your fingers. Then they waved goodbye. Bye-bye. And walked away. Those two. Two fingers. All right, here we go. Two, two from the left. And two, two from, from the right. Met in the middle and dance all night. They made up a dance called Snips Go On. Can you do scissor fingers? Then they waved goodbye. Bye bye. And walked away. Those, Those four. four. How do you think next? We're gonna have three. Three from the left. Yeah. And three from the right. Met in the middle, middle and the dance all night. night. They made up the dance called the finger mix. It's kind of tricky. Do that. Then they waved goodbye. Bye bye. And walked away. Those, Those six. six. All right, now we're gonna have four fingers up. There we go. Four from the left, and four from the right, met in the middle and the dance all night. They made up the dance called Bend and Straight. Then they waved goodbye, bye -bye. and walked away. Those, Those eight. Right. Next, we're going to have our whole hand, all five fingers. Get them ready. Five from the left. And five, five from the right. The bet's in the middle and the dance all night. They made up a dance called clap and clap and clap and clap and clap. Then they waved goodbye bye bye and walked away. All ten. Good job. Our fingers are all stretched out now, done dancing. And we are going to read a story. Come sit for a story, a story, a story. Come sit for a story. Come and sit with me. And my story today is for two voices. And so I'm going to have my friend, Miss Crystal, come and read one of our stories with us. Hi, Miss Crystal. Hi. You might know Miss Crystal from Central Library Story Times. And our story we're reading today is Shorty and Clem. I'm going to be Shorty. And I'm going to be Clem. And this is by Michael Slack. He is both the author and the illustrator, which means he wrote the words and drew our pictures. And Shorty's name begins with our letter of the day. Look, it's our S. I'll be back! Shorty and Clem. What is this? Hmm, is it an egg? Or a robot? Or cheese? Hmm, what is it? It's a package! And it's for me! I'm so excited. It's not for me. It's for Clem. Maybe there's a race car inside. No, this is not mine. I should not open it. But... I will drive it! Crash! Oh, it's bouncy. Maybe there is a trampoline inside. 
I will not open Clem's package, but I will jump on it. Woohoo! Boing, boing, thump, 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 thump. Uh oh. What happened to Clem's package? It's getting kind of squished, isn't it? Thumpity thump. There must be bongos inside. Clem would be mad if I opened his package, but I will play it. Bum, bum, ba, dum. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam, ba, dam. Boom. I hear monkeys inside. A race car, a trampoline, bongos, monkeys. Here I come, monkeys. Rip, rip, thud. I was right. There were monkeys in Clem's package. Look at those monkey slippers. I opened Clem's package. He's going to be so mad. I'm back. Shorty, where are you? Hmm. There you are. What's wrong? There was a package for you, and I opened it. I'm sorry. You opened my package? A package addressed to me with my name on it? Were those in my package? I just have one thing to say. I knew you would open the package. I know how much you love monkeys. <laughs> Not as much as I love you. Thank you. The end. Those are some silly friends, aren't they? All right. That was a good book. I love books with two voices because you can read them with a friend. So this week, when you are at home, you can practice singing, talking, reading, writing, and playing. Now one of my favorite ways is to mix those together and do rhyming and playing together is what we're gonna do next. So I have, I'm very lucky because one of my Storytime families crocheted this candlestick for us to use here at the library. But if you don't have a candlestick at home, you can use a real one or even better, you can build one yourself. So I just built this one out of blocks. Now, if you want to build one out of blocks, you can kind of pause this video and go make one to get ready, and then we can use it together. But we're going to play and rhyme to Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Quick. And it's fun to take turns. You can have your whole family do it. So I'll go first. Ready? It goes like this. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Miss Katie jumps over the candlestick. All right, now I'm going to make my friends come up and help me. So I'm going to ask Miss Crystal to come up next. You ready? Here comes Miss Crystal. Miss Crystal be nimble. Miss Crystal be quick. Miss Crystal jumps over the candlestick. Good job, Miss Crystal. All right, Mr. Matt's here too. He's doing our technology in the background. All right, Mr. Matt, come on up. Mr. Matt be nimble. Mr. Matt be quick. Mr. Matt jumps over the candlestick. Yay! Good job. All right, and we learn again through repetition. So if you do this nursery rhyme over and over with your family and your friends who happen to be in your house with you, then by the time you're done, I bet you everyone will know Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Nursery rhymes also hear you, allow you to hear more rare words. So we don't say words like nimble every day, but it's a good time to stop and talk about what that word might mean. So nimble is our new vocabulary word that you can use from over right today. All right. So before we sing our goodbye song, I have one more book for you. And this is a book about a goose named Susie. What letter does Susie's name start with? That is our letter S for today. And it's called Look Out Susie Goose. And it is by Peter Horvick. He is, again, both the author and the illustrator of this story. Look at that pretty blue. Look out, Susie Goose. Honk, 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 honk. It was a beautiful afternoon. All the geese were honking, except for Susie Goose. How noisy it is here, thought Susie. 
I wish I could find a quiet place. The woods looked quiet, so off she went with a flip flop, flip flop. Can you guys say that with me? Flip flop, flip flop. Good, we're gonna say that again throughout the story. Flip flop, flip flop. Peace and quiet, thought Susie. It's nice to be alone, but Susie Goose was not alone. Oh no. What is following her? Tiptoe patted the hungry fox. I spy goose for dinner. And he followed Susie into the woods. And the fox went tiptoe, tiptoe. And Susie Goose went flip, flop, flip, flop. I feel so much better now that I'm alone, said Susie. But Susie Goose was not alone. And the fox was hungry. And a wolf spied them both. Here he is. Flip, flop, flip, flop. I spy fox and goose, whispered the wolf. Mmm, goose for dinner, murmured the fox. And so they went, creep, creep, tiptoe, tiptoe, flip, flop, flip, flop, went Susie Goose. Deeper into the woods they went, where they saw, ah, uh, what's that? It is a huge bear. He watched them pass. I spy a delicious dinner, he growled. Wolf, fox, and goose. Flip, flop, flip, flop, went Susie Goose. Pad, 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 went the bear. Creep, creep, went the wolf. Tiptoe, tiptoe, crept the fox. Flip, flop, flip, flop, went Susie Goose. Deeper into the woods. At last, she reached the clearing. It was very quiet. Susie stopped and looked up. What did she see? She was so happy, she let out a very loud honk. The noise woke up the old owl. We see, we see Susie Goose and the fox and the wolf and the bear and there's our big owl. What's an owl say, do you guys know? He screeched and everybody ran. Susie ducked. What a racket. She looked around, but she didn't see anybody. That what what was that noise? She thought. It's scary being here by myself. And she hurried back home. Flip flop flip flop flip flop flip flop. It was good to be back with her flock. And it was nice and quiet. Everybody sleeping, safe at home. The end. Good listening, guys. All right. Now we're going to sing our goodbye song. Thank you so much for tuning in to our story time today. It was so great having you here with us. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to sing our goodbye song with our hands. Going to say thank you first. Ready? My hands say thank you with the clap, clap. My feet say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. Roll your hands and say goodbye. Goodbye until next time.